Hi, it's Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I am doing a um, planner stack flip through for September of 2021, um, showing what I've been using and hope to use for this next month. So I'm going to start um, at the top. And up here I have um, my, let me move this out of the way a little bit. Eep. Okay. I have a Traveler's Notebook. Um, this is a Carpe Diem Traveler's Notebook, and I have some of the puffy stickers from the um, Doodles and Dashes Coco Daisy kit um, on the front, and they are removable, which is nice. Um, and I just have this set up pretty, pretty simply. I did decorate the pockets a little bit, which is always fun. Um, and then I have the Simple Dory in here, and um, I, I think I'm just going to use this as a journal and free for all, um, maybe some scripture writing, quotes, that kind of stuff. Um, this kit is so beautiful this month, um, and it, it, I feel like it bodes well for journaling. So, and then I just have, actually this is a simple dory from January that I started that I left in here with the hopes of maybe actually finishing it. Um, so that's my Traveler's Notebook with two um, simple dories in it. Next I have, I'm going to go to my main planner for the month. So this is a half letter size disc bound planner. I have these arc covers on here, but you could use um, like clear plastic to make these pretty easily. I have it set up using the Doodles and Dashes Coco Daisy kit and very, I kept everything pretty simple um, because I really, um, I need this to be very streamlined. I, I am jumping into a busy season and so um, keeping this streamlined but pretty was my goal. So here's my cover page. I have my first divider which is notes and this has, um, I, I've learned that I just need like a section in the front for notes and lists and things that I can go to quickly. Next section is the monthly section and you know just have a pretty basic monthly layout. This is the plan to create um, monthly bundle I believe dated and I have for through the rest of the year in here. This is my weekly section um, and I have a mix of inserts. I started the month, or started in end of August with the plan to create Havzi insert, which I really like, um, but I recently discovered her week on one with Liss, and I just, this is like absolutely what I need right now in my life. Um, and so I have, this was, this was last week, and then this is the current week. I added a little, t I made a tag just to add in for some prettiness. And then I have a clear dashboard um, divider page marker, I guess. And I have it on, I added, um, I use these uh, removable tabs um, to create tabs. And then, yeah, so this is my weekly that I plan to use um, for the rest. I'm going to take this off because it's um, distracting. Um, so this is what I will use for the rest of uh, the month, and I'm definitely digging it. This is what it looks like plain. You get it as a, uh, with the, the, the titles already on it, or you can get it blank, and it all comes on the same printable. And then um, the back is daily pages, and I don't use daily pages every day, but when I do, it is really helpful, and you can see they're pretty streamlined, maybe a few stickers here and there. And then again, another page marker with the removable tab on top, and this one I added the um, pocket card that had the days on it, which is helpful for an undated daily section. And um, yeah, so that's, that's it for my main planner. And I'm happy to be in half letter. It's it's really useful right now um, for me because I've been well. We're we're actually we just bought a place, and so I've been leaving the house a lot more and wanting to leave with my 
planner in hand and so um, also just this is how I, I punch some clear plastic to um, use on the tag. So yeah, so this this setup is really nice because this fits in my purse really nicely and is very streamlined and easy to grab and go. Okay, um, and then next I have my memory journal and this, um, I'm not actually sure I've shown this in my on my channel. I've shown it a lot on my Instagram. So if you are not following me on Instagram, head over there, I'll leave a link. Um, but I have been using this for most of the year um, to do more, to do like unphoto memory planning. So things like this where I'm memory keeping, but there's just no photos. I will do a flip through of this at some point. I have some weeks that I wanna catch up on before I do a flip through. Um, so, but I did set up September and um, these, this planner comes with blank pages in between the months. So I liked creating like a uh, divider, like a monthly divider. And for this, I use the Coco Daisy um, Doodles and Dashes kit. And um, yeah, I just, I really, I, I didn't do this for most of the months. Like you can see a lot of the months are really blank. And um, I, I, I like that I can start doing this and I might go back and do it to the other months. And so again, pretty basic setup. Um, used stickers and uh, rub-ons and washi from the kits. And then um, this is again, a memory planner, so our memory journal. So I go back and fill in after the week's over, but just with words and stickers and things and no photos. And then last up is my actual memory planner. So this, do not be deceived, this is the spiral memory planner um, from Coco Daisy. And, um, but I added, well, two things. One, this is the January through July version um, that um, is actually on sale right now if you're watching the this video. Um, but I got this one. Um, actually, a friend sent this to me because they ended up not using it, so I bought it from her. And um, I just redated it and it worked out fine. And then for September, I did add in the divider from the newer Daisy Planner. So, but you'll notice it is spiral. So if you've seen my previous flip through, I was using disc bound from January to Ju January to June, and now I'm in the spiral and I love it. And I have added a different cover to um, the front. This is a Michael's Recollection Planner cover. I liked it just because it was more, it was sturdier and the it, this felt very like Miami and that's where I live right now. Um, and so I also added in a pocket for to hold the photos and um, I've I've been really enjoying this planner like a lot. Um, so something that I've done to make this planner work for me is um, I have been and I'll go to a blank month. So when you get this planner, it has a monthly section, it has these horizontal weeks, and then a break, and then the vertical section. What I've been doing is depending on how I think I'm going to memory plan for the month, I pull, I typically am pulling these vertical pages out so that I can use them and add them on top of pages, if that makes sense. Um, so here's an example. I have a few of the vertical weeklies because I'm only using this for a memory planner. I don't need double this. I don't need both sections. And so um, I can, let's say I wanted to, instead of using the horizontal section, I can simply add the vertical section, memory plan on these pages, and then adhere them in once I'm done. So I'm not fighting the spiral. I could work directly in the book, and I have, um, but I've also done this where I work on a layout, 
and then once I'm done, adhere the pages directly into the planner. This does two things. One thing it does is it actually makes the page much sturdier so you can add things like pocket cards or you know heavier embellishments and they will it will not um, affect the sort of str the strength of the paper. Um, so I hope that makes sense. So I'll show you a couple of exa uh, examples of ways I've done that. So in August, I, you can see here, I went into a vertical layout. And so I just literally adhered the pages in and you can't tell because, um, you know, it's white, so it, it, you can't tell. And then like for this, oh, I know what I did. I did all vertical. I kept all the vertical this for this month. And then, um, you know, like for this week, I just put pocket cards on top. And then like for this week, I actually um, added or adhered in some Happy Planner pages, trimmed them down a little bit and adhered them in and did the same thing over the here with a dot grid page. Um, and yeah, so I'm just, I'm really loving the spiral. I think it's, I think what I wanted was something that was a little, well, that really did feel like, um, all in one and like really well secured together and and then I can just play around with layouts by just literally adhering them in almost a, as if this was ba a bound notebook um, I hope this is all making sense um, so yeah so this is my these are my planners and journals um, for September and um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, give me a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.